Welcome to You Can Do It. I'm your host, Chris. And in this episode, we're going to be using a device by Reed. It's a plastic clean ream extreme. It's a PPR 300. What this tool does is it reams out the plastic pipe that's in this coupler. Um, we got a situation here where it's pretty involved and we're going to test this thing out and we're going to show you how you can do it. Uh, so I wrote on the pipe here, as you can see, they've got this thing back to back coupler. There's, so there's, a, there's some pipe in here on this side, inch and a half. And over here, we're going to cut it right at the seam carefully. And we're going to ream it out this direction and this direction. We're going to try to save this piece. We also have to cut it and ream it over here. So what we're trying to do ultimately is we got to get up into this area right up here. You can see where there's water staining on the brass pipe there. Well, they left out one of these guys, this lock nut ring. We got to slide this up on it and tighten it up. But in order to do so, we got to cut all of this loose. You can see all the fittings here. It's, it's busy. It's crazy in here. So I've got it marked where I'm going to be cutting it and reaming the pipe and putting it back together so let's see how this tool works so before i cut the pipe i just wanted to show you here i put some extra strapping on the pipe to support it so when i cut the pipe it doesn't just drop down so it's all at the the right angle and it goes back up exactly the way it comes down so I put a lot more strapping just to support the pipe. Now up here, I've got kind of a little tricky situation. This two inch right here is a vent pipe and it goes all the way up. It supports a tub and it goes up through the roof. So this part right here, it wants to drop down. So this isn't gonna move. I've got it secure. So when I go to pull this pipe down, this guy right here going up through the floor, it's not going to drop down. So just make sure you study your pipe and you get it all nice and strapped up where you're going to cut it apart so it doesn't all just come falling down on you. So I've taken it out, out of the package here. Let's just set that up in there. Fits in there nice. They give you the shaft and a, and a uh, Allen wrench. So this guy goes in, has a flat spot right there. And then you'll see there's the Allen set screw right in that hole. You'll just put this guy in there and tighten it up. Get it nice and tight. I'm gonna put it in the drill. All right, let's give it a rip. Now the real test is see if this slides in. Oh wow, that's nice and snug. Nice and snug. Wow, that's beautiful. Let me take this and put it up there a little bit closer so you can see what it looks like here. 
So it looks like it cleaned it out nice and clean. It didn't over ream it, didn't make it too big, but it's nice and snug. This is gonna work. Wow, that's a fantastic tool. Well, there you have it, folks. Great tool. I'd use this thing all day long on something like this. Um, it was a lifesaver for this particular project. So thank you for watching. You can do it. And we'll put a description down below on the part. And if you want to order one yourself, you can do that. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.